What is up everybody? So check it out. I'm a little sick because I work with kids and sometimes they can be nasty creatures and get you sick. So bear with me here through this video. I want to talk about Israel for a second. In 2019, they destroyed 104 Palestinian homes. In contrast, in 2018, they only destroyed, only air quotes, 74 Palestinian homes. That is the end of the story. If you would like to click away, you could probably do so now. Otherwise, I'm going to talk about like why they potentially did this and what we can expect going forward and maybe like what we can do as a result of all of this. All right, so why did they do this? Well, you know, the Trump administration had just allowed or approved or will vouch for Israel to take Jerusalem as the official capital. However, Jerusalem is currently separated between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Interesting story about myself. I study diplomacy and international relations. I want to eventually get my PhD doing this. In 2015, I actually studied international conflict in these regions. And so I was actually there during a time of war. And it was, uh, it was around September 2015 during something called the Knife Intifada. But I digress. So Israel is using this as a reason in order to take over more areas of Jerusalem. A lot of times what happens is when they destroy people's houses, they'll either, one, destroy them and kick them off the land and use it for either agriculture or they'll start to use that for Israeli settlers. Or two, they'll just kick them out of their homes specifically and then allow Israeli settlers to live in those areas. Usually it's one or two, historically speaking. Something that's also particularly interesting about this story is like, what are we going to do as a result of this? Well, you know, there is the Boycott, Divest and Sanction movement, the BDS movement. It's a Palestinian-led organization meant to economically hurt Israel until they abide by international law, specifically the agreement in 1947, which says, look, Israel, this is your land. Palestinians, this is your land. This is what you guys agreed upon. This is what you need to stay to. So Israel, stop occupying more land and you're literally killing more Palestinians and destroying homes and lives as a result. However, there is a little counter by the current administration in order to stop the BDS movement. So the Trump administration, as of December in 2019, actually decided to cut federal funding to colleges that, quote unquote, allow anti-Semitic speech to continue. Now, originally, you might be thinking, well, hold on a second, anti-Semitism is bad. Well, yeah, we all agree on that. However, it's not what you think. The anti-Semitic funding cuts, I guess is, yeah, I guess that's a good way to put it. It's actually to stop the BDS movement because the administration considers the BDS movement to be an anti-Semitic hate speech movement in order to hate on people because of the fact that they're Jewish, not because of the fact that they're oppressing the Palestinian people. I have nothing against the Israeli people. I have something against the Israeli government, just like I do with my own government in the United States of America. So that's kind of like what they're doing to try to cut down on this movement because a lot of times it's college students that are supporting this. So it's college students who they're cracking down on right now in the United States. Anyway, guys, I thought you guys would find this to be interesting. Thank you for bearing with me throughout this video. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. If you guys would like to donate to my Patreon, I would appreciate that. All my sources are in the description box below. Anyway, have a good day or don't. Whatever floats about.